All right, so we are here with Luke of Luke's Laboratory, and uh, good morning, and let's, what do you got uh, going on here? I got a lot of things going on. I'm really excited to be here this year because we got a lot of new technologies and, and things that we're really bringing. I'm gonna kind of just start at the beginning of the table and go all the way around here. So at the, at the first level of the table here, we have uh, what appears to be just a standard flat, um, you know, piece of uh, mix six here, but I, I hope you'll notice the, uh, the, the sudden grip and the sudden, you know, being able to pull that here. So this is uh, one of the new options we have on our stable bots, which is underside embedded magnets. Um, so this allows us to be beacon compatible with a 200C rated bed all at the same time. So that's something that we've been able to go through here. Um, next at the table, we have uh, a new uh, tool head that I made for uh, both Voron compatibility as well as um, my new printer back here, the Lab Magi. Um, but the, the key advantage of this are, are one, it has a built-in tube pattern. Uh, two, it's all metal. So you, you, no molten tool heads, no, no other shenanigans. Like you can even see here, um, Varys, the, the person who put this together, even has uh, metal 3D printed ducts here. So if you want something that isn't gonna melt on you ever, uh, this is the choice. Um, and then three really does come down to a uh, tube. So this is the first time it's ever been to a show. Um, shown here is the tube conduction with a LGX adapter. So this one allows you to put it straight on a standard LGX or LGX Pro uh, drop in and, and you can have 52 millimeters of melt zone. So you can actually pump out material. Uh, for a good reference of how much stuff you can actually put out, this is you know probably close to a kilo. This was done in four hours on a 0.8 millimeter nozzle. Um, the larger machines are capable of eating over eight kilos a day in center production. So if you're printing tooling or, or large parts or uh, like sculptures or, or big vase mode for, you know, whatever the heck you need to actually print fast, this is really what you want to do. Um, otherwise on the table, there's a whole bunch of different uh, iterations. Uh, this is uh, one of our new gantries from a, a StableBot. So again, StableBot's my printer line that can be made in whatever size configuration that you need. Um, I, I just uh, handed off one that can do 120 C degrees chamber with an IDEX and all the other fun stuff in there. Nice. Um, and then the other really big item in here is really the uh, Lab Magi. So uh, the, the cool things about this model are that it is an actively heated chamber, so you can get to 80 degrees Celsius in the chamber, 115 degrees Celsius on the bed. Um, it uses the Calamity tool head, like I said before, so it's all metal, easy to service, never have to worry about it melting or breaking or anything like that. Um, and the other, the, the coolest part, so it does have beacon probes, so you get perfect level prints every dang time, but it also has a built-in filament dryer on the side. So I've actually been drying um, some filament over here overnight that I can now print this morning, know that it's dry, and I never had to load something new into the printer. So we think that this will be great for maker spaces, education, and like small businesses that are using it for prototyping, not necessarily a production machine like what a stable bot would be built for. And uh, uh, it runs Clipper, and it, uh, but otherwise it's, it's open to the touch. Like there, I'm not trying to lock anybody down into an ecosystem. It's just you can buy the machine and, and build whatever the heck you want. Um, moving down the lineup here, uh, we have uh, one more really cool new thing that, that I'm showing off today. Uh, it's a bit more of, a, of an alpha build. So this is a, our uh, new tool head. So uh, there's been a lot of demand and I'm one of the people demanding it as well. So why not get it made? Uh, this is a 48 volt tool head. So not only do, can you do 48 volt on the extruder to get more spins so you, you, know, you can go faster and print more, um, but it's also 48 volt on heater to actually cut down on the current you're sending to your board. Another cool trick, is that it has a beacon pass-through port. So for people using beacon who have to run two cables or 12 cables or whatever for the USB, this one allows you to just connect a single header here and then it will power the beacon directly here instead of having to run all the cables. So it's a lot more uh, manageable. It has three of the 12 volt fan ports, including tachometer and uh, a separate PWM, PWM signal. And this board, we're gonna be targeting 100C rating. So you can put it whatever spicy chamber you feel like. Um, we're hoping it'll live to 125 before things start going wrong, but um, you know, conserve it 100. So this is something that we just got built 10 of. We're gonna put them through some paces. So far, things are looking pretty good. And uh, we're, then we're gonna um, get them into an open beta, hopefully as, as soon as we can, to try to truly break them. And then there'll be a, a smaller, lower temp, but more uh, consumer features like nozzle cam port, um, RGB, and all that other stuff uh, coming next. So that's, uh, that's really all the cool stuff we got cooking up here. Um, the rest of these items are just some of our favorite items that we, we like to sell. A again, the, the tube. Uh, we have, you know, Calamity, we have uh, 
the nozzle ADXL from our good friend Provoke 3D. We have North Print bed adhesive. We have our uh, dual IR and normal vision camera here. Um, we have a Toro tube from Toro 3D for rat rigs. Thanks. And then um, over here we have some of our friends in Fusion Filaments. So today we brought out a, a whole range of materials, a lot of them in uh, ABS. I, I love their filaments because they're full of glitter and they a lot of them shine in UV reactors. So they're, I, I love printing their stuff uh, when my prints aren't just black because they're tooling, you know, so. That's cool, but that's I get really today. the big thing is, you know, we spoke last year at the show and your hot end was under a different name that was still very much in uh in very quiet <laughs> testing yes yes the, the water heater the water heater and yes. tube is now available for purchase yes it is yes it is it's we, we got a whole ton of them here today um and and they'll be fully in stock and and hopefully they'll be uh used across printers worldwide uh, i think our people who either have them or are the beta testers re really love them and i my biggest sign of success personally is when i have my customers be successful in whatever they're doing so that's it's something that's why I'm so excited about it because I, I think it'll help. I know people that have been using them and testing them and they absolutely love them. So uh, where can people go get those from you? Yeah, so uh, I'm at lukeslabonline.com. Um, so it's just uh, probably in the description or whatever as well. But yeah, just search Luke's Lab or Tube Hot and Luke's Lab or uh, I don't know, anything else cool. For, yeah, those, those two really. Cool. All right, well, thanks for talking and uh, Glad to see it's out and uh, doing some really cool stuff. I hope so. Cool. Thank you.